I'm just a guy who loves Disney that has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Von Underwini and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm Von Underwini. Pretty cool week for me this week guys. I had a nice little four day weekend. Got to go see uh, the Iron Man, uh, Iron Man 3, the newest uh, Marvel release out there, Disney Marvel release. Um, I'm a... Uh, I was actually really looking forward to it. I did a uh, Iron Man marathon, which we, which they did a uh, Iron Man one, two, the Avengers, and then finally Iron Man three. Uh, I'll, I'll talk more about that later in my review on that. I'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about my experiences and what I thought of the of uh, Iron Man three. Uh, so that's going to be uh, you know that was fun. Next week is my uh, 5K that I'm doing. Um, um, I'm still asking for uh, donations. If you want to donate, um, uh, you know, to a good charity, I'm, I'm looking for donations. Uh, this is the last week that you can do it. it the, the, the donation is uh, up Saturday or next Saturday. So uh, the, follow the link below, and you can donate using a credit card or whatever like that. Uh, minimum donation is five dollars, I believe. That's just kind of how they set it up. That's how it is. Um, you know, if, if you can donate anything, that would be great. So. Um, that would be really cool if you could really help me with that. Just follow the link below. You'll see the uh, Fallen Under 1E 5K uh, for cool, the, the, the Cool Kids campaign link down below in the description box. Uh, just click on that, follow the links, and uh, that would be great if you could uh, you know, do that for me. I, 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 I might take a bunch of video while I do the 5K. I'm not sure. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's next Saturday at 9 in the morning. Uh, around um, our little uh, uh, you know baseball parks and Ravens uh, football parks uh, so that should be pretty fun and uh, you know it's called the color run they uh, you know you, you you run and then you go um, and at different strategic color zones these kids you know that uh, with cancer they uh, throw this uh, you know this color on you it's just a you know a pretty cool thing and uh, you know we'll just see how I do it it's my first ever 5k so we'll see how it works out you know who knows uh, you know but I'm really looking forward to that but yeah so that's what's going on with me please donate as you know you know if you can please it would really help me out and uh, you know I would really uh, it would really mean a lot to me a lot of people I've asked you know how, how they can support me this is the way they can so uh, yeah don't you know think it. please do that for me all right so uh, yeah let's get right to the news Disney Springs construction is about to get started with preliminary construction walls set to go up on Pleasure Island soon. The current uh, schedule calls for Laffer's Cantina to have its final day of operation on today, May 5th, uh, with construction walls to go up in that area tomorrow. Uh, for those that don't know, Disney Springs is a massive redevelopment of the, of the downtown Disney area, which will see it double the size uh, or the number of restaurants, shops, shops. Uh, uh, and bring a whole new theme to the area. They're tr trying to get rid of the downtown feel. They're trying to make it more of a, fr a family-friendly thing. So uh, that should be pretty cool. We, you know, we'll see how it works out. But it's going to start soon. Construction starting soon. Dates and tickets are now on sale for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and the Night of Joy Concert Series. Uh, for all that information, follow the links in the in the description box below. Um, you know, there's too much to you know, to name. They're really doing a lot with this awesome i love that stuff i went to the not so scary halloween party last year or a couple years ago and it's a it's a great time so excellent stuff there the magic kingdom will welcome merida as an official disney princess on may 11th as part of the limited time magic series uh, the celebration begins at 9 30 a.m on saturday at the cinderella castle in magic kingdom park uh the disney parks blog you know they, they released a whole big thing about it you know it's going to be a big old coronation ceremony with all the disney princesses there so merida is an official disney princess that will be uh, inducted into the uh Disney Princess Hall of Fame there, so I uh, mean, pretty cool stuff. Congratulations to Merida. In what started this past week, Disney is now offering electronic standing vehicles, or known as ESVs, for guests with disabilities at both the Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Resort. The ESVs are equipped with four wheels and are similar in function to the Segway stand-up type of vehicles, which are not permitted inside the parks. Uh, the rental fee is $50 per day plus deposit. 
and can be rented at the existing wheelchair locations throughout the property. Uh, no medical paperwork is required and reservations can be made by calling Disney. I posted the uh, that, that phone number uh, in my description box as well, so if you feel the need to have one of them, uh, you know, check that out and, and make sure you, reser you know, reserve it because I'm sure they'll go quick. And finally, the boat dock da at downtown Disney Westside is scheduled to close from May 5th today to uh, May 8th for refurbishment. The water transport will continue to operate between the uh, Marketplace and Pleasure Island, but will not stop at Westside. So uh, there you go. So good stuff there. That's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. All right, guys, uh, this week, since I'm only really talking about one thing, I'm going to be all about uh, the newest uh, Marvel Disney release, and that's Iron Man 3. Uh, now, this past week, it, uh, it, it was released, and it was very, very popular. It made $175 million this past weekend. That's second only to the Avengers, which made uh, 207. Uh, obviously, the Avengers uh, was a much-hyped movie, and everybody wanted to see it. Um, and uh, you know it, it makes sense but this was doing buku bucks especially overseas uh, internationally this has made 504 million dollars already so somebody is getting paid uh, yeah, Iron Man 3 is uh, just very very popular very good movie I really urge you guys to go and see it uh, but I'll talk more about that later uh, like I said I did an Iron Man marathon which was sponsored by the AMC theaters uh, AMC Lowe's and White Marsh uh, which is where I went and um, it was really cool because they do these marathons every now and then. I did an Indiana Jones marathon. I did an, uh, the Marvel marathon. I saw the uh, Indiana Jones on uh, the, uh, the IMAX screen. That was pretty cool. I do a lot, they do a lot of special events. And um, I've gone to a couple of them. So I did uh, this Iron Man marathon. And it was really cool. Uh, when you go, they give you uh, this little badge that you know, so that you can walk in and out. Uh, they attach your ticket stub to the back of it. The Iron Man Marathon consisted of Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Avengers, and Iron Man 3. Uh, so uh, it's very cool. Each movie is about two hours. So it was about, I want to say, eight to ten hours of uh, actual time at the place. Uh, it started at one o'clock and went all the way until about 11.30. So uh, it was, uh, you know, with the, um, the uh, what is it called? With the... Uh, Jeez, Louise. With the intermissions, they, they have intermissions uh, after each movie. Uh, you know, it was about 10, 11 hours. Um, they also gave you these special uh, glasses. Uh, they have, um, they had a, a, a bunch of them. This was the uh, Iron Man 3 glasses. This is the Iron Patriot glasses, real D 3D glasses. Um, I got some other ones. I can't remember where I put them. I put them up there for the Avengers marathons and whatnot. I got the Hulk glasses. Uh, everybody was going for Tony Stark glasses. They had four different styles. They had the Iron Man style, which was like the red and gold. Then they had the Iron Patriot. Then they had uh, some other one. I can't remember. But they also had glasses which looked like Tony Stark's um, sunglasses, which was pretty cool. They weren't sunglasses, obviously. They were just the uh, 3D glasses. But I, uh, I, as you can see, this is unopened. I can't use these because these special edition glasses don't fit over my glasses so I can only use the uh, regular um, 3d glasses that they give you so um, I got this um, it's, it's unopened and I'll just keep that with uh, as a memento uh, but it was great you know we had a great time and uh, it was a Thursday so there weren't many there weren't a whole lot of people there it wasn't didn't start getting packed until we, you know we left because uh, they showed Iron Man 3 at 9 p.m. that night so I got to see it before everybody else uh, all the all you know all the midnight showing people and everything so uh, that was actually really cool uh, yeah now I actually took a bunch of video kind of showcasing my time there so uh, this is an eight minute long video uh, I, it's actually pretty funny uh, when I get bored, I do a lot of this stuff. So um, here is my Iron Man marathon experience with the Iron Man 3 review to follow. So check it out. How you doing, guys? Final 9 to Winnie here. I'm not sure how well you can see me because I'm doing this on my iPhone. But, all right. I am on my way to the Iron Man 3 marathon. Uh, I think around this time last year, I did the Avengers marathon, which was really, really fun. Done, you know, done by the same people, the uh, Lowe's theater people. So that was that should be fun. 
I'm really looking forward to it. I got, uh, but I'm not alone this time. I'm not alone this time. I got uh, uh, Bob and Kaya. They're going to be meeting me there, so that's going to be fun. It's four movies: Iron Man One, Iron Man Two, The Avengers, and then finally Iron Man Three. Apparently, we're going to be seeing this a little bit before everybody else. I don't know how that's working, how the timing is, but whatever. So uh, that should be fun. Uh, just. I'll probably give you updates throughout the whole thing, you know, like I did the last time and whatever. So, cool. I'll uh, see you when I get to uh, the Lowe's uh, Movie Plex. We're driving. We're driving. We're driving as fast as we can. We're driving. Driving! We're driving! We're gonna drive! Do some little driving tactics! Driving! Driving! I apologize. That was a little too much. I don't know where that came from. It came from a dark place. We're going to make a left now. Go to the Super Smashing movie. That is the music playing. It's awesome. I don't know this song at all. I've never heard it before. We made the left turn. It's great. It's awesome. There is a lady behind me. Now she gets smaller. I <laughs> drive away. It's so funny. I love this song. I love it. What is up with Carmen? Every time I go to a movie marathon, there's a Carmen song. I gotta get this song. I'm gonna do it, do it. Like I wanna do it. You don't know me like you ain't never know me before. I love this song. I don't even know why. This property is monitored by video internet! Hello. 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 Hello! We stopped. I stopped at the stop sign. Always stop at the stop signs. Ah, there's a car! Ah, there was a car! I'm going to park right into beer next to these. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we are here at the IMAX Lowe's to see the new Super Smash It movie, Iron Man 3. Starring the puny Robert Downey Jr. You know what? I at the Terminator would beat Iron Man. That's going to be the new my newest movie, my newest Super Smash It movie, Summer Blockbuster, Iron Man vs Terminator. It's gonna be great, guys. Would you come and see it, guys? I will do it. I will do it to be awesome. It'd be great. AMC. Go in. Hey, look, it's my game. Kaya and bald spot. <laughs> That's where his comic book Bobby's here. He should be a Columbia. 
should be at Columbia with this giant line to watch Iron Man. Oh, sucks for you. We're in Theater 7 over there. Alright guys, we're here right on uh, for Iron Man. There's Bob and Kaya. Alright, so this time around the, Ar the Iron Man Marathon, they put the little sticker thing right there. I'm not sure how well you can see this. That's the, uh, the Iron Man. Don't phone! Zoom out! Zoom in, phone! Phone! Alright, whatever. That's not going to do it. It's the, <laughs> yeah. This is the, uh, the arc reactor, obviously. So when you hang it around your, uh, your, your neck, you know, it looks like, you know, part of the arc reactor. I also gave you these awesome, uh, glasses. I have the Iron Patriot glasses. Bob has, uh, has Iron Man glasses. So, that's how we roll. Kind of how we roll. I got Iron Patriot because I like Iron Patriot better. Actually, I really don't have an opinion. Because they're real Iron Patriots, Norman Osbald. Oh, spoilers! Well, he's dead. He's not even in this movie. And we can't even talk about him. We can't even talk about him. He's property of Fox. Yeah, no, Sony. Sony. Fox is yeah, Sony. <laughs> All right, so um, about an hour before the movie starts. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, just got done Iron Man 1, and now we're going to uh, obviously go to Iron Man 2 and then the Avengers. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Easy peasy. Done this before. Nothing to worry about. All right, we are here. Just got done Iron Man 2, and I am so excited. Got the Avengers again in 3D, and then uh, finally Iron Man 3 in 3D. He's wearing 3D. <laughs> so uh, it should be pretty cool. I really can't um, I'm really excited for it. Uh, I get to see the Avengers in 3D again, which is fun. 3D. 3D. How you doing, guys? Uh, we just finished up. Uh, Iron Man, or I'm uh, sorry, the Avengers, and just like uh, the last time, it was awesome. Totally worth, uh, you know, coming for and seeing it in 3D again. Uh, it was really cool because, um, you know, the people were really into it, and obviously it was just a great movie, so totally worth it. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Iron Man 3. We got a nice little 40-minute wait until then, but we get to see it before everybody else. That's pretty cool, so see you after Iron Man 3, and I'll uh, give you my first opinion on it. See ya. What can I say, guys? I told you it was. Uh, I was a little bored on the way over and driving over, and I decided just to, I had a little bit of excess energy, and I decided to let it out. I decided to do it on camera. Uh, yeah, so I apologize if that offended anybody. Hopefully, it didn't, because it was quite humorous to me when I uh, finally realized what I had. Um, <laughs> um, but okay, so. Iron Man, uh, overall, the, the, the marathon was great. I had a good time. It was easy for me because the Avengers marathon, that was six movies. That was tough. Um, but this was only four, so it was all right. But was, this was Bob and Kaya's uh, first actual marathon. So that was, uh, you know, was, you know, that was pretty neat uh, to have them there. It really, is, really helps to have, have not a fully packed theater. The theater was only about half packed. And um, it also helps to have friends there to, you know, to talk to. So that's awesome. Especially when you have to go pee, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, now on to Iron Man three. Now uh, there's a lot about Iron Man three that I liked. Some of some things that I didn't like, um, but I'm not I'm, I'm not going to give away any plots or anything like that. Obviously, Iron Man three stars Iron Man, and his villain is the Mandarin, that guy that you see on the um, on the on, you know on the previews and things like that. Um, but so there's you know a lot of stuff going on there, and uh, he you know he he gets into a tough spot. Um, he's dealing with the fallout of um, you know the Avenger the uh, you know the events of the Avengers and everything. And uh, so there's a lot of you know interesting stuff going on, a lot of twists and turns and uh, things like that. Um, it looked great. The effects are awesome. Uh, it was really good. Uh, you know, uh, the directing was, was interesting. You can definitely tell it was different because, uh, director John Favreau, who did Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, did not come back. He also played, uh, Happy, um, ha Happy Hogan. He was the, 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 you know, the limousine driver, um, in the Iron Man movie. He, uh, he directed the first two. And, uh, Shane Black, who, uh, who did Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, he did, uh, this movie. And you can definitely tell because there was a darker feel and, um, and whatnot. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. did a great job. He uh, was the highlight of this movie, uh, as he is with anything, um, but he did really good. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow did a great job. Uh, it was just, 
you know, crazy cool. And uh, there's and, and, and again, like I said, there's a lot of twists and turns. Um, so uh, you know, if you want to see what they are, definitely go watch this movie. Um, the story was a little okay. Um, there were some things I had issues with. Some some things I, you know, I couldn't follow at times. But uh, overall, it was okay. Um, that was kind of the weakest thing for me. Uh, it's really hard to do an Avengers type movie because um, when you do an Avengers type movie, you have to have the visuals. Everything has to kind of fall into place, and uh, they did that with the Avengers. With this one, it was uh, the story was kind of lacking in certain places, and I didn't quite like the score. Um, the score was it was okay, but there was a virulent lack of ACDC. And I'm sorry for any Iron Man movie, you got to have some form of uh, of um, of uh, ACDC in there. Um, another thing I didn't really have was a sense that uh, Tony Stark was totally in control of everything. Um, you know, I didn't quite, you know, there wasn't that hero moment that, uh, you know, every other superhero movie has that I kind of like and I kind of need. I think people kind of need that too, but um, I'll let you, uh, I, 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 I could be nitpicking and so I'll let you uh, make your decision on that. Um, but overall, it was an enjoyable movie. It looked great. It was a lot of really, you know, it was a fun movie, fun action movie. Really, you know, you're, you're eating your popcorn the whole way through. Um, but if you're going for a super story-based thing, you're not going to get that with uh, Iron Man 3. So what am I going to give Iron Man 3? Uh, I'm going to give it 3 out of 5. Uh, this is a movie that uh, if you want to go see it, you know, uh, you know, go see it. If you don't, I could understand. But I highly recommend that you make your decision based on actually seeing it. Uh, the theaters, you know, are great. Making it uh, in you know, the, the 3D was awesome. Uh, you, know, you got to see all the different suits and whatnot, so that looked great. Um, it just, you know, the 3D was great. So uh, it was definitely a movie-going experience. I really recommend you go see this movie. Um, it's fun. It's action-filled, and uh, it's totally worth your time. Uh, but if you do wait for it to go on DVD. I can understand that too, uh, but uh, definitely somehow at some point in your life see this movie and watch it uh, because uh, it is pretty interesting and it's uh, it's setting up for um, the Avengers and whatnot. So uh, excellent stuff there. Also, stay uh, all the way past the credits because there is an end credit scene. I'm not saying what it is, uh, but I'm just letting you know that there is one. So. Uh, stay all the way through to the end and uh, it's awesome stuff so excellent uh, so yeah my Iron Man marathon experience is definitely a five out of five I love the marathons the Lowe's does such a great job or AMC does such a great job with it I love those special things there was trivia there or even uh, my friend Kyle won a, a poster and everything for uh, getting my question right for um, the uh, for the Iron Man trivia so all in all I you know there was a great time a five out of five for the uh, for the Iron Man Marathon experience, but three out of five for Iron Man 3. So go check it out and make your own decision. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney News and Reviews. Um, hey, you know, uh, I, again, I'm, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here with stuff to review. So if I talk about different things uh, you know, that are related to Disney, uh, you know, you, you will eventually get things like this. So I, I apologize. Um, but yeah, definitely go see Iron Man 3. I want you guys to make your own decision based on actually seeing it in the movie theater. So I think you guys will actually have a, a good time with that. Uh, so yeah, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I want people to go and watch Iron Man. And having those awesome, this is for AMC people, the, having these awesome marathon special events sort of things are really great. Love it. Bought my ticket through Fandango. Awesome stuff. Uh, so, yeah, and if you are going down to Disney World, be sure to go to allers.nettouringplans.com, www.magic.com for our latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good, too. Uh, also, if you're going down, buy this book. It's a pretty good book. It's the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. This is the 2013 edition. Whatever year you're in, if you're watching this in 2015, get the 2015 edition. Um, lots of really good stuff there. Uh, if you're just going down to Disney World, it's your, if this is your startup trip, uh, read this book. You'll get a lot of really good information, and you'll be almost as knowledgeable as File 9 to 1E. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, I got this. My Disney Parks Vacation Planning DVD. I'm not going to say why I got it, because nothing's happening yet. But hopefully in the future things will happen. So uh, I'll that cryptic message you can take however you want. So I'll see you guys next week for another Disney news and reviews. Go see Iron Man 3 in theaters right now in Real D3D uh, from uh, Marvel and Disney. Bye guys.